Meet Abdel Fattah Bokshouf, the curator of the oldest library in the world. He shows us rare manuscripts written by some of the greatest thinkers in medieval times. This is a book by Averroes, who devoted all his life defending philosophy and reason. This is the handwriting of Ibn Khaldun, the historian widely seen as the forerunner of today's sociology. Abandoned for years, decay and humidity have damaged many books. But now, renovation is underway. Gutter systems, solar panels and air conditioning have been installed to control humidity. When I was first appointed as curator, I had no idea I'd spend years dealing with rare and invaluable manuscripts. I have people coming from all over the world to just to check facts on a page in one of the manuscripts. Near the library, there is the Mosque of al qarawiyin built by Fatima al fihriya in the 9th century. Fatima was heir to a financial dynasty who was fascinated by science. 1100 years later, she remains an inspiration for Abdel Majid al Mardi, the Imam of the mosque. She was a visionary. She left behind a great legacy. This building stands as a beacon of science. This university had a huge impact on different cultures and civilizations. It was a spring of innovation. For centuries, this place was bustling with scientific activity. To apply, students had to be well versed in mathematics, astronomy, logic and Islamic studies. Those days are gone, but many still hope Al Qarawiyin will restore its legacy as one of the world's top ranking universities. The renovation of the oldest library in the world isn't just a work of restoration. For people here, it's a crucial step to pay tribute to the woman who gave away her wealth hundreds of years ago so that this place could pass on knowledge from one generation to the next. Hashem Ahbar Al Jazeera, Fez.